Let's say we started the project by drawing property lines accurately. The next step would be creating grid lines or other reference lines to model the building. However, not always do we have a perfect orientation between the building and the site as you can see in here. If both the building and site are aligned with the two nodes, there is no issue with drawing grid lines and proceeding with the rest of the process. In here, everything is straightforward and we can work with straight lines as we used to it. Even in AutoCAD, we can easily rotate the project to make it easier to work on. But what if the actual building is oriented at an angle? Now, even though north is up, it becomes so challenging to create accurate grid lines after that walls and then interior elements and etc. In these cases, we have to separate the project north with the two north. Let me delete these extra parts and now we can focus on the project. So before doing anything else, I want to place a north sign in here. So we are going to go to annotate and with this symbol, you can load your project with this load family and then place it wherever you want. I'm going to place it in here. The next part is to go to the properties section. In here, you need to find the orientation and in front of it you can see we have two options the project north and the two north two north is the north of the project the actual north and the project north is the north side that we define for the project so we are going to match we are going to align the two north with the project north the side that we want okay so for that i'm going to switch to this two north and then we are going to go to this manage tab in here you need to go to project location and click on this position and after that you're going to select this rotate to north okay the next part is to place this line exactly where you want so i'm going to click on this place or you can just simply drag it wherever you want and then i'm going to click on this part like this now your next click is going to be exactly on this line it should be perfectly aligned with this line okay there is no snap in here because we have like a, an angle in this part but try to create it as accurate as possible your second click is going to be up in here if you move your mouse you can see that there is an snap in here and it will show you where you need to click and the angle is going to be 35.78 okay you need to remember this if you think you might forget it i placed this uh, two north in here for that so you can use that later i'm going to click on this part and now if we zoom out we can see the orientation of our building is perfectly like this so it is going to be so easier for us to work on to create grids or reference lines or anything else in this way obviously you can change it all the time you can go back to the two nodes whenever you want just go to this orientation and switch to the project nodes for site plans we usually present them like this right we usually present them the way they are even if you want to place it in a sheet you can do it like this and you can delete this one in here this uh, north sign in this part let me just delete it from here and you can present it like this this symbol in here is not for this project this is for the family of this sheet right so you can either change this one you can set it exactly the way your two north is like this is two okay this two north and the north of this side is correct you can use it like this or you can simply place another symbol in here for your sheet for your project okay but on the other hand you have floor plans you have sections and for those things first of all you need to set the orientation of these views for first floor second floor everything you want you need to set the orientation of them on the two north so you can present them correctly okay and then on sheets like this you need to change them again so if you place a north view like this in here this is not correct this north symbol of the 
sheet family is not correct and also this is not correct too so if you want to like set them correctly first of all you need to rotate them uh, 35.78 okay this is the two north also if you want to change this one you need to go to the family of this sheet and then in that part you need to rotate this or add another one or you can just simply delete this one and place this in here okay a bigger and better symbol you can do all of these tricks and hacks to present your project the way you want but you need to be sure that you are using them correctly okay this was a very important topic that i thought we should definitely cover now if you want to learn more about the property lines and how you can create them accurately with tagging them correctly you can watch this video thank you for watching until now i hope you find this video helpful and i will see you next time